Alrighty, so as you can tell right off the bat in this video, there is a new medical tent at front gate. So as you can see right here, um, they've installed what I'm assuming is like the other Cedar Fair Parks, a temperature check tent. So guests will be lined up in social distance queue lines outside leading up to that tent where you'll then the, go get checked for your temperature. Um, and then you'll enter front gate through season pass processing building. The reason I'm assuming this, so again, keyword assumption, um, is you can't use turnstiles. And um, because you can't use turnstiles due to what's going on, I'm going to assume they're going to use their season pass processing building to get you into the park without turnstiles. Um, I do also know that they have an indoor section for temperature checks in case you fail, uh, because again, you'll be outside and your temperature might be a little higher. So they'll have an indoor air conditioned one for a secondary check if you fail the first one. Um, nonetheless, our video yesterday, what ride is showing signs of either being upgraded um, or uh, being dismantled? So a lot of you, I don't think a single person, actually not a single person got it right, which is crazy. I zoomed in here. I don't know how bad the footage is because I zoomed in on the editing software um, and it's a drone. Um, but nonetheless, I zoomed in. Maybe you could see it a little better now. No? Well, the top of uh, Skyhawk has been removed and the, the little decorative piece and the cables coming down the sides of um, Skyhawk. Wow. If you can't tell, I just woke up and I'm drinking my coffee. I woke up and I read the comments and I was like, okay, I'll put this in today's update video. But yes, um, the, it looks like Skyhawk is most likely either getting a big upgrade. Um, we know that, for example, any of you that can actually flip on Skyhawk, if you get stuck upside down for even 2.5 seconds on this ride, um, you fault the system. Uh, which is very unfortunate. There is someone in the Ghoster community that is infamous for flipping uh, a ton. And when you're doing what the ride is designed to do and the ride is faulting, there, there there's a problem. But nonetheless, um, they are most likely upgrading Skyhawk. I wanted to see if any of you would notice um, what was going on at Skyhawk, but none of you did. Y'all just assumed Mindbuster, Flight Deck... <laughs> And those rides were testing, and Time Warp, th those rides were testing in the footage. Uh, but uh, Backlot got a lot, and I'll talk about Backlot in a second. So a lot of you were assuming Backlot because of the work going on in and around Backlot. And that's that was a good prediction, because there's a lot of movement going on um, in Backlot, so one could assume. But for those of you that have paid attention to the drone updates for the last year... Um, year plus actually, it's actually an electrical company that is permanently hired by Canada's Wonderland um, to help with the electrical problem that Canada's Wonderland has. So Wonderland is working on upgrading their power grid um, so that they don't have any more power outages. So Wonderland used to have a lot of power outages. You'd notice like half the park would go down here and there. So they're working on fixing those problems within the park. So there's actually a new power storage unit built onto Backlot's area and that's where they're working out of. So that's why you see a lot of those crews down there. Nothing to do with Backlot. Backlot's not being removed. Don't worry. Nowhere close. Dragonfire's loop isn't missing either. You should see the amount of DMs um, and be in the comment section. Dragonfire's loop is not missing. Again, when you're filming with a drone this high in the air and this far away, things could appear to be missing. I remember when I would do construction updates for Yukon, there was one week where I thought Wonder Mountain Guardian's track going into the mountain was removed. And it was just because of um, the sun reflecting off of it. Uh, when you have the sun and again you're this high up, you, things can look like they're they're invisible or they're not there. Dragonfire's loop is there. Um, oh, do I want to share this bit of information yet? I don't think I can share this bit of information yet. Um, it, it, no, I can't. Uh, there is potentially some really good news. Uh, with one of the roller coasters at Canada's Wonderland. I already shared a little bit about what I think is going to happen with Wonder Mountain's Guardian, so that's good news as well. But there's another roller coaster at Canada's Wonderland that could be having some really good news about it. I'll share more a little later as that development um, occurs. But as of currently, I don't feel like I have enough information or the information that I could provide that could be hidden. Um, in a way. So I'll share that information when I feel a little more comfortable sharing it. But there is another roller coaster. Um, maybe it's in this shot right now, zoomed in. 
that could ha- potentially, keyword potentially, have some good news. So we'll, we'll wait to figure out that for sure before I share that. Um, but nonetheless, Skyhawk looks like it's getting probably a new operating system and some new cables or something like that to fix what was going on last year. That would be my guess. I don't think they're removing Skyhawk at all. Um, but, uh, I'll keep you posted. It is a little weird that they took the top off. Hopefully, hopefully that top stays off because I find it really ugly. Uh, I hate that decorative piece on the top. I think it looks amazing the way it is with just the red top. It matches Windseeker. That ugly decorative piece on the top reminds me of a fairground. Like, ew, get that out of there, Wonderland. <laughs> if you're listening, remove it. Keep it off, please. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, nothing else. Oh, I guess the good news is, as you could tell from the beginning of the video... The parking lot is being emptied. Really good sign. So the parking lot cars are all gone. The temperature te- check tents are up. The water is filled in Splashworks. The employees are almost done testing. Again, in t- yesterday's video, as you could tell, the remainder of the rides are testing. Um, except for a few of the rides that I can't discuss yet. Uh, but yeah, really good news. Based off of what's going on in Ontario, if I were to make a new prediction, I don't think Wonderland's capable of opening the first weekend of July anymore. So July 3rd, 4th, and 5th, I don't see Wonderland opening. My next earliest prediction would be anywhere after that. So Wonderland can open any of those days after that. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this quick update on Canada's Wonderland um, and what's going on. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you're having an amazing weekend and staying safe because, boy, we're keeping our numbers low here in Ontario. So let's let's keep doing that. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.